Okay, let us continue with the uh, uh, communication and extension. No? So uh, let's continue with the Berlus uh, model of uh, communication. Okay, sorry. All right. So the Berlus. Uh, SMCR model no? so uh, the SMCR model and Berlus uh, model of communication so we have S stand for uh, source M stand for message and C stand for channel and R stands for a model so this is the Berlus model of uh, communication the SMCR no? <coughs> source Okay, uh, the source must uh, the source must have a communication skills, no? The skills of communication uh, source, communication skills of the source affect no the fl uh, the transmission of message, and also the attitudes of the source affect no the the communication process, the knowledge, the social system and culture affect no uh, the communication process at the level of the source no according to Berlus when we say message in the Berlus uh, model we're talking about message is the content and elements no and elements uh, of the uh, communication treatment no? uh, how we treat the message structure of the message how we arrange the message so that it will be uh, understandable to the receiver no? how will we arrange no? how, uh, how will we able to structure the message to for ace of understanding and uh, what is the code of the message now uh, when you say channel in the Berlus model we're talking about uh, seeing uh, mga TV mga print media no? hearing radio uh, karun pwede na cellphone tawag no touching is an example of the channel ng berlo smelling on that uh, touching we can uh, no uh, skin is a uh, sense of stats no smelling uh, sa ilong no tasting sa tango uh, we have a uh, chemical uh, signals uh, chemical communication when we smell something hmm ano to Tai, <laughs> no. So there is a message in the smell, no. Hmm, ato, barbecue, no. Merong mga message ang smelling, okay. Touch, no. Merong din sa touch, no. Ano yon? Touch, no. Init, uh, ano yon? Bugnaw, no. There are some uh, message in touching. Uh, Napul ka ng caressing, no. Uh, mga kanang wow, love, no. Ano siya, no? Passionate ang uh, touching, ganon. But um. Tasting, no? Ay parat, no? Ang minsan is parat. Ay tamis, no? The message is tamis. Ay lami, no? Ay juicy, no? Ay tender, juicy, delicious, no? Merong mga meaning ang mga sensation ng ating taste buds, okay? Receiver, also, uh, considered ang communication skills ng receiver. Ang communication skills ng receivers also affect the flow of uh, message uh, of communication, no? Also, attitudes, knowledge, social systems, and culture. Okay? So, na yung mga lain-lain interpretation ng culture. For example, uh, when we look at uh, cattle, so cattle under countries, cattle are holy, no? Pero other country, ang cattle or cow, dili holy, no? So, yun na siya. So, lain-lain ang message na cultural connotations ang mga bagay-bagay. So, this is the Berlus model of communication. Another we have the Shannon Weber model. No? Uh, we have the sa Shannon naman we have the source encoder, decoder and receiver. We have the source encoder, decoder or uh, sidar, no? Si doctor. But in meron sa in between merong channel na no? meron ding channel, merong message no? Feedback and noise. Itong mga noise na to is mga factors nor barriers of communication okay this is the Shannon Weber model okay so there are some ter terms in here so now let us look at the terms no division of terms we have the mass media uh, alam natin, no? we are familiar with mass media because 
we had been exposing mass media every day, you know. Mass media, a collective phrase that represents not only press, not only cinema, not only radio, television, and internet, but also some extents books. No, kasama sa mass media ang books, no. Uh, press, press, no, yeah, press, no. Cinema, radio, television, and internet, but also some extent books. No? Kasamang magazines, some um, uh, mass media, pamphlets, direct mail literature, posters, no, folk media, and natural communication methods such as rumors, education, and preachings belong to mass media. For as long as uh, the it going, uh, it is going to reach. Uh, mass of people, no, uh, uh, daghan mga tao ang iyang marich. Mass media, no? Another term we have the selective attention. Di ba kita no? Di, we have some selective attention. Uh, Dili talang bagay uh, at tagaan to gibug ato, no? Because uh, we have different biases, no? We have selective uh, processes. Meaning to say, yes, ato lang entertain ang mga bagay nga ganahan ta. Ditaganahan, so never mind. No, no. So we have a selective attention. No? The process of screening vast amount of information in which one has no interest through mental filters. So, marating mental filters. No? So we have a selective attention. Ibig sabihin na, uh, kung dili ka interesado, out. No? I didn't feel like doing that. Hindi ko matanana. No? So, uh, out of my mind. So we have selective attention. And the uh, selective attention also affect no uh, the communication process kay kung giistoryahan ta. Unya katod ang giistorya sa tuwa is not within our interest. So dili dato siya tagag pagtagad. No? So selective attention. We have a uh, selective perception, meaning to say the tendency to interpret communication messages in terms of one's existing attitude no so ang ato ang paglantaw sa mga bagay-bagay magdepende sa ato ang attitude okay so klaro na unsa example ana mm basta yung ana no ang ato ang uh, tendency to interpret communication messages in terms of one's existing attitude no ana siya Okay, so naiuban, no? naiuban nga. Ibig sa gistoryahan niyo siya, wala kay daw tang intensyon. Nga kay wala siya sa mood karon. Na, imis wala kay daw tang intensyon, daw tan na saya ha, no? Mag-away na hinuon, no? Tagaan niya meaning nga daw tan. Tungod kay, ang katong gisulti na to, uh, so kuhay sa iyang attitude. Hindi siya ganahan ato, no? Nga na. Okay, so we have selective perception and we have also selective retention, no? Uh, di kita di, di, di talang bagay atong memorize di talang bagay itong ma-recall no? so selective retention the ability of an individual to retain certain messages in his mind while ignoring others no? selective retention no? so nataan na no? uh, for example kana itong sa gabi eh? uh, uh, nasay na ito mga kuwan ito mga mahuna-unaan ba nga Uh, di taganahan no atong i-block no? na po say na ay ma-recall na to natay mga nihigda to sa gabi na ay mga bagay nga atong ma-recall nga atong gibuhat ang adlaw hanto dayon ato na lang damguho no kay eh, ni balik sa atong damgo na retain sa ato ang nauna but uh, our ability of uh, but the ability of an individual to retain certain messages in his mind while ignoring others no uh, magdepende po na siya sa unsay atong gaganahan unsay di ato ganahan no kasagara atong ma-recall kaayo kanang ganahan na to nya kasagara pud kanang ma-recall na to kanang bag-o nga mga panghitabo sa atong kinabuhi no nya ganahan kay ta nya bag-o pa ginahitabo unsay di ta kamubuo no masid ma unsay matulala na lang ta no love na about sa love love na uh, matulala nang uban nagkaon nagkaon pero ang kutsara na wala di ang nauna kay nga man Uh, naguna huna pa sa kilig atong bag-o lang nila nga uh, lab-lab sa iyang uh, partner no nga na siya no so selective retention ang atong retention apektuhan siya sa ato apod nga attitude sa atong perception o kanang 
ka ng the, the law of recency, no? kinsa itong bago, bago pa kay recent, mo dali ito maritin. Maritin. Yan, nga lang po nito, gritin sa nangunak, ito pong mga ganahan na ito. Okay? We also have term in here, uh, the selective exposure. Some individuals are exposed to a certain media, uh, exposed to certain media effects while while some are not, no? Selective exposure. No. Uh, kita po, no? We have to sell, uh, expose ourselves po dito po sa mga makatabang sa ito, ah, no? Na, na ay benefit sa ito, ah. Dili pwede kung uh, uh, exposed na sa mga bagay-bagay o niya makadaot sa ito. So, some individuals are exposed to certain media or messages while others are not. Labi ka ron, no? Ako, dili kayo kung uh, tanaw na kayo sa Facebook di na kayo kagatanaw sa mga blogs blogs kaya nga man uh, daghan na kayo mga fake news no? di na kayo ang mga tao kung saan sakto nga basahon, no? di na kayo balo sa credibility sa mga source so kaya ako, karun no, I am uh, selective exposure, abisan pa sa mga barkada, makaila, nagipili na ako akong mga barkada niya, nagipili po na ako kinsa akong uh, bakihelo bilo kaya na ay mga barkada nga bad influence, makipikto sa ato ang panguna-una sa itong activity, you know. So, ako ay am uh, practicing the selective exposure. Kitang tanan na at ana, no? So, na ito, may opinion leaders or change agents, no? Opinion leaders or change agents, mga technician ni sila, no? An individual who is a member of the group manifests certain characteristic in his thinking and behavior that contribute to the formations of a public opinion. Uh, katong na yung mga opinion leaders, katong kasagara, agad pamita, pamita, pamatiyo, no? Kasama ani, no? Ang mga kita, mga technicians, no? Kasama po na ni, mga mga barangay leaders, no? Mga porok leaders. Ano, katong bito, o oh, dito ka, kung dito ka sa mga mga indigenous people, katong ilang mga ilang mga chieftains, no? Ilang mga heads dito sa ilang mga mga dato, no? Kasama dyan, no? So, another, another term, encoder. The sender or a source of a message is referred to as encoder, no? The sender or the source is kita nga nag-historia, his 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 kita ang nag-hatag sa technology, you are the encoder, no? Kato namang nag-namati, a listener or the receiver, a person receiving the message and decodes it is referred to as decoder, no? Namati niya, ilang isabot, sila ang decoder. According to a Shannon, no? Weber model. Feedback. Okay, refers to an inquiry, no? mga pangutan na, pagpaklaro, response, or experiment. No? Basta communication process, this is the question, or uh, mga pangutan na, or mga pagpaklaro, or mga tawag na, in enforcement. No? Ang katong mga receiver siguro, nag-enforce siya para mas maklaro pag ang mensahe para sa uban. Okay? The term, another term we have, no waste, can be physical no waste or a physical barriers. No? physical factors that would affect communication process okay noise can be a physical noise no bungi bungol bakol no uh, libat no uh, halap ano siya, no? it could also be a psychological uh, barriers no in terms of culture in terms of taboos no na mga traumatic experience no mga mga ka, no na mga kaulaw nga mga kasiratian, no? Or values come into play to disrupt the normal transmission process of communication. Okay? And, uh, noise, misunderstanding of a particular message. Could also be a noise, no? Okay. So, I guess, uh, that's all for the communication and extension, and, uh, I hope, uh, you learned, you know, in our discussion today, uh, as a sort of run through, this is what we have discussed, no? Sa doha na to ka slide. Kaya doha na to ka presentation. Elements of communication, the source, the credibility of the source, homopoly, a degree to which the source and receivers perceive as the same in terms of age, region, and, no? Message, sorry, message, no? Yung mga symbols. Then, there's a message code. There's a content. There's a how to treat the message. There's a meaning of the message, okay? The information. Classifications of channel, we have interpersonal and we have the mass media, no? And guide in choosing uh, channel, magdepindi ang itong channel na gamitin, depende sa outcomes of learning, depende sa characteristics sa message, magdepende po sa characteristics sa receiver, 
no magdepende po sa pangwarta o, o la, uh, budget ng ng uh, okay effect barriers no at yung mga mga babag sa atong communication no then the Berlus model then the Shannon uh, mode of communication and we have some terms in here and uh, that's all for uh, that's all for this uh, session and I hope to, uh, you understand no? uh, at least man lang maroon kayo natutunan about the communication and extension so thank you for listener uh, next time around so please do uh, listen and view our succeeding discussion thank you so much